New at 6, the University of Tulsa's president says he'd like to have more concerts perform at Skelly Field at H.A. Chapman Stadium. We told you Def Leppard, Motley Crue, and Alice Cooper performed there last night. Well, we've learned some nearby homeowners and students think that the noise and the parking was just too much of an inconvenience. 2 News Oklahoma senior reporter Justin Ayer shares some of those concerns and the response from TU president Brad Carson. Homeowners tell me houses were rattling here at South Florence Place. This neighborhood is directly across from Chapman Stadium where the concert was held. Some of them tell me they'd be okay with more concerts here in the future if staff make some sound adjustments. He may not be Nikki Six, but John Parker has been playing guitar for more than 50 years. So when Alice Cooper, Def Leppard, and Motley Crue perform feet away from his house, he's gonna listen. He didn't have to leave his front steps. I heard they heard it down at 21st Street at times. So there were times when you could say it was loud, but hey, it's a rock concert. Besides it being bass heavy at times, Parker says he welcomes more concerts. After all, it's been more than 30 years since TU's had one. I hope they have a whole diverse, you know, everything from prog rock, progressive rock, to fusion, to classic rock, uh, to indie rock. I don't care what you call it. Two houses up. Holly Henry was trying to put her one-year-old to bed. It took him a while. He stood up in his crib a couple of times, like looking around, uh, trying to figure out why the house was shaking. We noticed Cruz still taking down the stage on Thursday, which also happened to be move-in day. TU President Brad Carson addressed the inconvenience the concert caused students by having off-site parking and buses shuttling them to and from campus. He says shows like this are too lucrative not to have. TU staff say the money raised from the concert will go towards student services. In this case, they plan to use the money to finish building a Starbucks right there at the library. And they also plan to build a Chick-fil-A on campus, which will serve three meals a day, six days a week. Parker thinks it's a win-win. After all, he doesn't mind listening to others play besides himself. I think that they'll do good in the future with future shows, and hopefully a lot of them. A lot. I'm a musician. I love shows. In Tulsa, Justin Air, 2 News, Oklahoma.